Hanukkah and great Kwanzaa, everyone. And Christmas, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. <laughs> you know, it feels like I'm a child all over again. Why, CJ? Are you on crack again? <laughs> I'm pleased to announce that the crack was a one-time failed experiment on par with the McDonald's bubblegum broccoli. The reason why I feel like a child is because the OG Fortnite map is back! <laughs> After many years of changing the entire game like 2,000 times, they finally brought back the map that everyone knows and cringes at. That is cool. I'm sure the two or three of you in the audience who actually play Fortnite are very proud to hear that. I love Fortnite! Yeah! Ninja! <laughs> in less wholesome news, a man was recently arrested in a gas station for indecent exposure. <laughs> I don't mean to be a downer, Bryson, but that's not exactly noteworthy. Crazy people are in gas stations all the time. It's where they congregate. That may be true, but I don't think that this incident is quite as insane as you think it is. What for? Because the name of the gas station was Come and Go. <laughs> Seriously. Yep. Well, maybe this negative exposure will finally convince them to change their name. Speaking of insane people... National band member and the worst joker, Jared Leto, has recently done another publicity stunt. Oh no, is it like that time he sent dead animals to co-workers or used handicapped bathrooms when he didn't have to? No, Jared Leto climbed the Empire State Building. What? No one really knows why he did this. He said something about wanting to climb a really big building, but I will concede this is pretty cool. You know what? I agree. If nothing else, I think there were more people who watched him climb that building than people who watched Morbius. <laughs> yeah? Put it back in theaters. <laughs> Speaking of physical activity, the Rams have announced a very unorthodox marketing collaboration. Well, football is starting to get less popular, Bryson. I think it makes sense for the industry to start moving towards less traditional strategies. What they decided to do? They're teaming up with One Piece. <laughs> the One Piece is real! Wait. No! <laughs> like, in the pirate show, can we get much higher? <laughs> Balloon deflating during the Macy's Day Parade One Piece? Yep. Well, how the hell is that going to work? You'd be surprised. Anime fans and sports fans actually have a lot in common. Like what? Look, all I'm saying is that Itadori's fucking defense is terrible. Get out of here! The animators Eastern need to go. be fired! B-O-A-T, bro! He's the best around! <laughs> okay. I see it now. Speaking of sports, do you know what else requires lungs? Living. Well, yes, but also smoking. Unlike what Snoop Dogg is doing right now. The famous rapper Snoop Doggy Dog has recently announced he is giving up smoking. Wow. I can't say I saw that coming, but if he's taking active steps to improve his life, then I 100% stand with him and... Uh, correction, um, when he said that he's going smokeless, he meant that he's promoting the new solo smokeless stove. He still has future plans to smoke marijuana in the future. Oh, thank God. Oh, that would have been real, real bad. Speaking of long eras that come to an end, the fucking Young Sheldon show is finally done. It's still going? There are enough people actually watching that show for it not only to get a second season, but a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth? Yes, but fret not. The series creator has announced that after a seven-year run, the show is finally done. Wow. I never truly thought I'd be really missing a show that I've never watched before. Oh, well. Look at this footage of a kid getting picked up by a giraffe. <laughs> Man, I'd be scared if I were the parents of the giraffe. <laughs> well, in other news, modders were able to add a shotgun to Super Mario 64. Wait! Stop the show! I've come to make an announcement! It has been confirmed that the defrosting has concluded and the world is doomed! Hold on! What are you talking about? I think this is about the malls now being plagued with All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh right. I forgot it's December now. Yes! And we're all in danger! We need to evacuate now! Look, I get this song is overplayed to death, but we don't have to act like Mariah Carey is gonna cause the apocalypse. It's not Mariah Carey we should be worried about. Wait, then who are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, 
We give our condolences to Dan Poffenmeyer. Oh god, did his wife die or something? No, they're just getting divorced. Oh. So why are we giving condolences? Because it's still sad. It's not like divorce is fun. It's just the way things are sometimes. Wait, CJ, say that again. It's just the way things are. Holy Chris Kringle crunching a candy cane, CJ. You said it right. You pronounced R correctly. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? This is incredible news. For those of you who don't know, my co-host has been pronouncing R words incorrectly for years, and this is the first time I've ever heard him say it right. I thought they were just gaslighting me because whenever I say it like car <laughs> or whatever, I hear the pronunciation right, I don't hear it the way you hear it. So what changed then? So I was driving back from cookout and resident <laughs> neuro major and short person Ben Upton told me to say it like the A in auto and now apparently I say it right sometimes. Amazing. But the problem is it sounds wrong to me. It doesn't make sense in my head to say it like that. Well, I don't care how it sounds right to me, <laughs> CJ. Now, yeah, I think you know what I want you to say. Fine. <laughs> I parked my car in Harvard Yard <laughs> to go to the farthest bar. <laughs> And finally, I'm sure you've all heard of the terrible yet hilarious <laughs> between Gumball Larson and Dream King Jr. Dream King Jr.? Yeah, you know, named after Martin Luther King, because he had a dream. <laughs> I don't think that's his name. Well, that's not important. Anyways, we all know that Dream likes to speedrun Minecraft, and apparently he also likes to speedrun the Age of Consent. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds horrible. Yeah. Then they ended up getting into this huge fight inside of a car, and Gumball had some pretty intense things to say towards Dream. What did they say? I'll just let you see for yourself. Well, I have ADHD, autism, neurodivergent. I have ADHD as well. Right, but because you said that's what the mask is, I think you're a fat. Well, that concludes tonight's SLS. But before we go, we'll leave you with this inspirational quote from The Godfather. Or that. <laughs> that <too. laughs> Have a great night! Yeah!